Hi guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate on how you can make your own bootable disk uh, on OSs like Ubuntu, Windows 7, Mac OS X etc etc. So I'm performing this video on a Macintosh and I'm using a blank DVD and uh, I'm going to use the OS that's uh, Ubuntu. So first of all you need to download the ISO file uh, from the internet. Uh, my ISO file is on my desktop. That's you can see there. I'll just auto focus on it. Okay, that's the file. Then just double click on it. And once you double click on it, it should pop in. It should auto play. Just uh, click on cross and open up disk utility. In disk utility, uh, you have uh, the Ubuntu logo and uh, put in your DVD or VCD inside depending on the size of your OS and uh, click on the Ubuntu uh, thing uh, on your in the disk, disk utility and right click on it and click on burn Ubuntu 11.04 desktop i386.iso or whatever is your OS and just wait uh, till the time it detects uh, your uh, disk in the super drive okay once it's detected just click on burn and it will take uh, quite a lot of time to burn the disk around uh, 10 minutes I should say and uh, after uh, it writes the track on the DVD or VCD, it will verify the track. So till that time, please stay tuned guys. I'll be back. Okay guys, uh, so once the file has been burnt, uh, you will get a pop-up message. And the disk will just pop out, just like this. And uh, once it just pops out, you just need to take the disk out and uh, take your laptop in which you want to load it I'll just show you the procedure give me a minute take the disk out I'm gonna load it on my bio so let me just get my bio okay now that's my bio it's running Ubuntu 10.10 .10. And uh, this is the CD of Ubuntu 11.10, which I'm gonna boot in my bio. Let me just zoom out. Okay. Now uh, you just need to start your laptop and uh, open your disk drive. Put in the CD that you just burned through disk utility, and then uh, just uh, go to this. Just a second. Just uh, restart your laptop, and once you restart, uh, but you need to make sure that your laptop has the preferences of optical drive to boot first, and then only the CD will boot. Otherwise, you won't be able to boot a CD. okay so you can see that it's booting so now that's how you boot a disk and remaining is the procedure on how you can install your Ubuntu 11.10 or 11.1 thank you for watching the video guys